Hello, welcome to the Tuesday, March 29th, 2022 edition of the Sands and Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich, and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. We got a couple Ukraine related items to start out with. First one is a BGP hijack of a Twitter prefix by rtcom.ru. The prefix in question is 104244422 slash 24. And that happens to be, of course, the prefix that twitter.com resolves to. Now, the hijacking was uh, somewhat unsuccessful, at least outside of uh, Russia, in part because of the implementation of RPKI, uh, that is a more modern, secure addition uh, to a BGP that allows ISPs that implement uh, this extension to a BGP to actually uh, validate some of these updates and with that avoid some of these hijacking attacks. And that's probably why we didn't really see any widespread complaints about Twitter outages, unlike uh, back about 14 years ago in 2008, when uh, YouTube's prefix got hijacked by Pakistan, and that sort of caused widespread outages for YouTube. So the good news here is that BGP is actually improving and it is making a difference. If you want to test if uh, your ISP is using uh, RPKI, uh, is BGP safe yet? Uh, com is a website Cloudflare set up uh, to actually uh, test uh, your ISP. I did get a uh, bad response from it earlier today, but uh, currently it seems to be working again. If your ISP is subject to BGP hijacking, of course, there isn't really much that you sort of as an end user can do about it, but uh, TLS is your second layer here. Uh, you should see TLS errors, so just don't click OK if you get a bad certificate from a site like Twitter. And related to that are a number of distributed denial of service attacks against sites related to the war in Ukraine and sites located in Ukraine. The attacks, according to a story in Bleeping Computer, appear to originate from many compromised word press sites that have JavaScript included in them. That JavaScript sort of follows that good old uh, low orbit eyeing cannon scheme of essentially just tricking the browser into sending many, many requests very quickly to the site under attack. Compromised WordPress sites are actually a huge problem and really something that we uh, need to figure out how to clean up. Uh, somehow we'll have uh, some more details about that later uh, this week. And well, to help you not become part of the problem, I got a few patches that you should uh, consider. First of all, uh, Sophos's uh, firewall suffers from a uh, authentication bypass vulnerability that allows remote code execution. This is in the user portal and uh, web admin interface of the firewall. So one of those classic vulnerabilities we tend to see in these devices and uh, why you probably don't want to expose these uh, portals if you can help it. In addition to patching, I also recommend you're taking a look at the device access best practices document that Sophos has, and it links to the document from the advisory. This flaw is not yet exploited, has been responsibly disclosed to Sophos. But on the other hand, we also have a patch for Sonic Wall. And in this case, yes, it's already being actively exploited in the wild. It's a buffer overflow vulnerability via an HTTP request that allows a remote authenticated actor to cause a denial of service. Just a denial of service, but of course, with a firewall is still bad. Well, uh, maybe that'll get you to patch because uh, Better to take the firewall down yourself with a patch where you can recover than have the attacker do it for you with a denial of service attack. 
And I got a third firewall vulnerability for you, and this one is in OpenSense. OpenSense, the PFSense uh, clone, uh, does use the CARP protocol. CARP is used to synchronize uh, firewalls that are sort of in failover uh, configurations, and it's used, uh, well, in uh, many sort of of these uh, BSD firewall uh, distributions. It uses protocol 112, and really there's no reason for it to be seen anywhere but in the connection between the two firewalls. But apparently in uh, OpenSense, uh, the filtering doesn't work correctly in the firewall configuration by default, and uh, these uh, car packets may actually be inserted from the outside or may leave your uh, network. A blog post on Medium by LVJ has more details and also uh, some workarounds uh, to stop this. For now, there is a patch pending uh, for OpenSense. Well, and that's it for today. Thanks again for listening. And well, uh, I guess you know, I had three firewalls today, so just double check that your firewall is up to date. I may have missed uh, one or two here and... Talk to you again tomorrow.